Hey everyone, Angelo here. Welcome to another design tutorial. Today we're going to discuss how to generate static captions in a multi-page document in Adobe InDesign. We're going to be using InDesign, but we'll also be touching on Adobe Bridge to add what's called metadata descriptions to our images before importing them into InDesign. So let's get started. As you can see here, I do have a magazine style layout. I'm working on two spreads here and that is fine for today but just imagine if you were doing this for 12 pages or more um, this process makes adding captions into a document that much easier okay so the first step we want to do is use Adobe Bridge so I'm gonna open it up and when you open up Adobe Bridge you can target the files where they are so I have a folder here called static caption images on my desktop so I'll just click that I'll double click the folder and as you can see here I have uh, six seven cafe images okay and so when you open these up they're not gonna have the metadata descriptions in um, in the image so you're gonna have to put them in yourself just think of these as the captions that you're adding built right into the image so let me just click on cafe one and there's the image there and so you want to make sure that you click on this metadata uh, tab. This is the tab where you can go in and start adding your information, your caption. I'm going to scroll down and you want to make sure that this IPTC core is, the drop down is available. So make sure that is drop down and then navigate to the description field. And as you can see here, I've already added in my information or my caption here and you want to make sure that it is in the description field when you're doing this. So once you've typed that in, you just go on to the next one and repeat the process, okay? And just make sure that you're putting them in the right field and then once you're done, as you can see I'm just going through them here to show you that they're all there, okay? Once you're all done, you, you can just close bridge. You don't need it anymore. But that's the process to add that data, uh, metadata description. So I'm just going to close this. Let's go back to InDesign. Before we get started here, you want to make sure that you have the links panel open because this is going to make the process to select the images a lot easier than, you know, going throughout the document and, you know, clicking one and then going to the next one, holding command, clicking the or shift, sorry, and clicking them all like this, right? You don't want to do that. There is a simpler way. So let's go up to window and links right there. Okay. I already have mine here built into my uh, to a tool panel here. But what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna tear it out so we can um, look at it a little bit better. Okay, so I got it here. And you can see there's all the images that I have here. I don't wanna add a cut line to this main image. I wanna add one to this, this one on page two, this one that I've uh, embedded into the, the copy here. Um, and then here, and then this image here, okay? So before you go ahead and generate the static captions, you have to set up the static caption. So the, the way to do that is go up to object and then go to captions and caption setup. You need to, this is an important step uh, before generating them because uh, this is how they will be applied when you actually generate them. So you can have text before or text after the caption. I'm leaving the, both of those blank because basically all I want is the caption. In your metadata, where the metadata drop down, it'll default to name. Just make sure that you do have it set to description because in Bridge, if you recall, we added the description, the caption in the descri description. So let's change the metadata drop down to description so they know. Uh, position and style you have the option to have the caption below, above, left, or right of image. I'm gonna keep it traditional here and have it below. Um, you wanna add an offset, a positive offset, to separate some, uh, give some space between the actual caption and the image. Not doing so will have the caption butting up or touching a, uh, the image, and you don't want that. So add an offset, and then you can go around, you can go back and play around with that offset if you need more space. And then this one's important too. So if you don't add a, a style in your paragraph styles, 
what's going to happen is the caption is just going to come in as the default no paragraph or basic paragraph style. So go ahead, take the time, create a paragraph style, and then apply it to your caption setup. So I did make one in advance here called caption style. I'll leave that. And then I usually check this on group caption with image. So when, if you're moving the image and the caption, you don't have to collect them together because they're already grouped. Okay, so I'm okay with that. All my settings were already in place. So I'm just going to hit cancel. Now that you've done this, now you can start to generate those captions. So I'm not going to apply one here because that's my featured image and I don't want a caption there. But I'm going to I'm going to add them to Cafe 2, 4, 3 and 5. So I'm just going to click on 2. Um, and then you can actually just hold shift and click the last one. That will collect them all. Right click captions generate static captions as you can see there they go, they're, they're in now I'm just gonna zoom in here to show you so there's the first one you notice how I added an offset there just to add just enough space between the image and the caption now there is a problem here because I need to increase the text wrap on this you can see the, the the copy in my story is far too close to the actual uh, caption. So I'm just gonna, as you can see, they're grouped together. I'm just gonna double click this one here. Double click the uh, the caption until you get the uh, selected frame. I'm just gonna move this off to the side. Go to your text wrap options. If you don't have your text wrap options here, window text wrap. And in the text wrap, break the link here. So you don't want you don't want all the settings the same. Okay. We just want to change the the bottom wrap okay so we want to add more separation there and I'm just gonna do that maybe something like that and as you can see now that looks a lot better if I go to page two down here or sorry page three there's my caption and there's the last caption so that is how you add static captions generate static captions in a multi-page document without having to do them individually for each image. This is a time saver and it's, it's a great way to work more efficiently and improve your workflow, especially if you're working in editorial design or catalog design, time saving tool. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Take care, bye now.